Okay, so next we're going to talk about the knife tool, which is located under multiply and it's under subdivide. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to drag out a basic box. Okay, just to give you an example of how this is done. Okay, so we have a single polygon. Okay, now if we we need to make uh, we need to slice this up and we want to have some control over where the, the points are. Okay, and we need more geometry. At its basic, we're just cutting up a basic polygon here. Okay, so let's go under multiply. Let's click on knife. Okay, the little knife icon uh, shows up. Now, from here, I can drag out this little widget and you can actually see new points actually showing up in the corner. It's hard, it might be hard for you to see uh, where you are right now, but as soon as I click on the space bar, you'll see that it made a nice little cut and now we have new points. Oops. Okay. Now we also have, whoops, we also have two polygons. Okay. Whereas before, undo we only had one polygon okay so if you want to cut this up for you know multiple reasons it could be many okay but this is how you can chop up a basic polygon You know, for different uh, for different possible uses. Okay, I grab that one there. Move it up. Who knows? There could be all different reasons why you would you would chop chop up what you're doing. Okay, but like I said, this is a way to. Um, you create more geometry, you make cuts. Now, um, this isn't just you know for use on like flat, planed, open-edged objects. Okay, um, let's uh, let's delete this. Um, let's pretend we had a um, like a character. And we'll just pretend this is its arm or its leg. Okay, this isn't going to be anything fancy. Okay, let's just cut the ends out here. We're going to work in sub D mode just for this example because usually that's where usually model characters in sub D mode, at least nowadays, anyways. Um, okay, so right now, if I want to sculpt this into some something that looks like a leg okay um, I need to make some extra geometry here I need to make some cuts so I'm gonna go to multiply I'm gonna hit my knife tab and I'm gonna cut across okay and I'm gonna circle these points and I'm gonna kinda bring them in okay now, it doesn't really look like a leg or anything right now, but if we start making a few more cuts, okay, different places, be able to help out with that. Let's, uh, let's grab these points here, maybe bulge this out, maybe sort of turn this into something that looks maybe sort of close to like a knee. Let's hit uh, sub patch. Okay. H for stretch. Okay. Now let's bring this down. T for move. We'll pretend this is the 
top of the thigh here. Okay, I'm gonna bring these in because it's skinnier down at the ankle. Okay, but if we want that fatty, uh, that fatty portion at the thigh, the muscular, so the muscle, we want to make that calf. Um, sorry, let's go to knife and chop that across. Okay, and we grab those points and we stretch them back. Okay. Okay, so you can see we're starting to, we, by adding extra geometry, we can start making curves on the actual object. So I'm going to make another cut up here. Okay, and sort of make the, the front of the thigh here a little bit more rounded. Okay, so you can see as we went from a kind of a, a just a really round cylinder shape, and we're starting to uh, create some geometry that looks more organic. Um, and in order to do that, you you need to make more cuts so that you can control the geometry and and and, and round it out. Okay, so that's how that's how sculpting and stuff is done is by by adding that extra geometry. Okay, sometimes it's good it's good to have a lot in certain places and sometimes it's better to have less. Um, the more the more geometry you create, um, the more geometry there is, you can have more detail, but um, sometimes it gets to the point where it's out of control and you wind up having to do a lot of tweaking. So when you're using the knife tool, you're uh, when you're getting heavily into sculpting, you'll know that there are certain places where you're going to need it. For example, we're going to need it more than you're going to need it less. For instance, or an area like right around the knee here, uh, notice that the cuts are a little bit closer. Let's uh, get out of sub patch mode. Um, so areas like knees and joints, like elbows and, and knees and stuff, you'll make cuts closer to those areas but in the bigger areas like the just the mus, mus, muscle uh, muscular type areas um, like the thigh and the calf you won't have the uh, you won't have these cuts quite as close okay so anyways this is just a basic overview of the knife tool so basically like I said it's just used for creating uh, more geometry so remember you can use it on a, a flat plane type like an open edge piece of geometry or or something that's like closed like this so you can shoot you can cut straight across the whole thing okay so as you notice once again if I just make that disc again okay I'm even though I'm only this this is only a 2d view okay where are we here this is only a 2D view, I'm still cutting across the whole object. It doesn't look like it, but if I click the space bar, look, it's sliced right across, so you've knifed the whole thing. Like I said, it isn't just for uh, flat, flat planes to cut across. You can cut right across uh, multiple objects. In fact, let's go undo let's um, let's mirror this just so that I can show you um, if you're looking at an object in a side view and pretend these were like legs of a character okay and you need to make some cuts for the knees and joints so on and so forth um, you don't have to do the knifing one leg at a time from a perfect uh, side view, this is a back view, but just, just for example's sake. Normally, uh, this view that you see here, if there was two legs, we would be looking at it from this view, but I just randomly just uh, cloned out some, um, some cylinders here. Um, but anyways, if you look at it from this view here, okay, if I throw the knife tool across like this, 
if you notice in this other window, it's already made the cuts. Okay. So if you go at texture, see how it cut across both of them simultaneously. So you don't have to do them one at a time. Okay. Now you, I mean, you could do it this way too. You could cut across two, two objects like this. Okay, but if you're trying to keep symmetry while you're working on a character, the, uh, these legs wouldn't be uh, these legs wouldn't be symmetrical. Okay, um, so like I said, if you cut across if you cut across from a perfect side view, these two objects are still equal now. They're the exact same uh, they're the exact same object. This one is just mirrored, but you're making the cut equally. But like I said, if you if you go like this and you're a little bit off, okay, that's how it cuts across. So, okay, so enough of that. I think you get the basic idea of how this uh, physically works. Um, the keyboard shortcut for the knife tool is Shift K. If you're doing a lot of knifing, you might want to get used to that. And then you hit the space bar to drop. Shift K, space bar to drop. Okay. So I think we're going to move on to the next tool.